What it is, what's up? Fucking key binds in the cut. Uh, Viscous from Heaven. And yeah, so chapter 68, read it about 30 minutes ago. Thought I did a pretty decent uh, breakdown on it, had a lot of energy. And apparently, key binds do not work. This is me hitting my typical key bind to typically stop a recording in OBS, and it does not work. If you are a, I hate using the word content creator, the phrase. If you are a creator of a video on YouTube and you use a Mac and you updated the big slur, you probably have faced this, I would imagine. If you have not, you were lucky. And I don't have functioning keybind, so the entire video that I was doing, I did not do. Long story short, we're on 69. I uh, got to keep the show going and... I thought the state was great. Gave us pretty good backstory into who Granola was. Uh, kind of, I had a lot of snarky remarks about the standardization and uh, demonetization of not the YouTube way of Super Saiyan White, i.e., Master UI, is going to apparently be a very common transformation at this point on, more than likely. Not the biggest fan of that. Uh, it seems like the old Dragon Ball way Goku made remarks and the way Goku makes remarks. Very Goku type stuff. Most of the excitement that happened on that planet came from the fish once again making a very ominous uh, prediction. And Vegeta and Beerus, as I said in the previous video, which you will never see and I'll never see either. Um, Vegeta and Beerus appear to be set on to spar. I already knew that. Because I spoiled it a couple of days ago because Twitter fucking sucks um, and spoiled it already for me. But I'm here for it. I said I was going to turn on the, the cam and the mic and be prepared for it. I thought that's going to have a little more energy going to this, but here I am. Here's this chapter, chapter 69. Nice. Let's get into this it. This is for heaven. Um... Questioning. Um, so this was his planet before things popped. The Mechians, uh, those were, I think, some dead Mechians there. Um, Manolito. Anyway, let's get back into it. I might spoil myself with something I don't want to, so let's get back into it. Uh, this is his planet. It apparently has started getting back right after being annihilated by Frieza's force before. Um, he throw that? It was a glass bottle. Why don't he throw it like that? So they look like, it looks like they live in bubbles. I think it might be a decent uh, screenshot uh, thumbnail. Yeah, it may be a decent one. I usually try to exclusively use manga panels for my uh, my thumbnails. And something I did remark in the previous chapter was that Toyotaro, the art uh, he's done in that, that chapter and in this, ch this panel right here, pretty solid. How many plants have you seen? It's destroyed. A lot of good uh, dialogue in the, in these two chapters. Other than Goku. Goku can't give good dialogue. It's not his character. It's impossible for him. My people's problems aren't your concern. <laughs> Beerus snapped on him. He just destroyed a moon? Was that what a la Piccolo like 700 chapters ago? Now RP my fish dude. <laughs> That's gonna be a funny scene in the anime. So unlike Piccolo, Piccolo is like a moon uh, and Beerus is like swapped out a planet. What do you mean? It's just like a basic key blast. Oh shit, Vegeta. <laughs> yeah, Vegeta. <laughs> Don't let Vegeta get bitched out again by Beerus, man. This is the shit Afro Central was talking about, man. I'll cut in some of Afro Central's tweets here, I guess, but I don't, uh, you know, this. It, it, no one wants to see Vegeta continue to get bitched out, man. The one who suggested free. So he's gonna try to spark up his rage. As he did, you know, when they first met a while ago. 
I like how every time Vegeta like transforms out of rage, like his powers are so fucking incredible to people. But then you know, he always gets his fucking ass washed in just a couple of pages afterwards. That shit literally happened 600 chapters ago. Or, well, I don't know, not 600 chapters ago, but like whenever the fucking, um, the, uh, the, that was like six years ago now, but the Battle of Gods movie, six or seven, I think from 2013, so eight years ago, holy shit, eight years ago, and about four years ago in the anime. It's just like these, these, like, moments where Beerus or Vegeta is supposed to be impressive, like, they always make something where he just gets bitched out. Did he really know that Vegeta could tank Hakai? I guess you are supposed to be an S, like this kind of pure and creative uh, power why Vegeta is probably going to double down like his kind of evil notions. Maybe not evil notions, but just his rage that he had at once upon a time to uh, become a destructor. Which probably means that in effect that one day Vegeta will probably get God of Destruction while Goku becomes like an angel or some shit like that, I imagine, but... That's a little bit down the way. Oh, that's Zuno. So this is like the the uh, the guy that has like the um, he can do like the wishes and shit like that. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. They gotta fuck up Granola. <laughs> they gotta come in like, hey, motherfucker, you gotta pay taxes. And taxes is another fucking Dragon Ball. He was older than fucking Kami. Goodness gracious. He has a one-star Dragon Ball. It reminds me of the negative uh, Dragon Ball from GT. He only needs two. Oh. He only need two Dragon Balls. This reminds me of uh, when they were talking to Zamasu and like, I think in, in essence, um, Gowasu was like, yo, don't, don't do this, it's for evil. It, this whole scene reminds me of that quite a bit. Not necessarily evil, but just selfish desires. So they are universe hoppers. That's interesting. So maybe they have like relations far back to the Namek Namekians we saw in uh, the universe system versus universe seven battle. They, you know, Dragon Ball speaks to such profound concepts to give such like low balled and, and and like very undesirable answers to most of the grandstanding moral concepts it creates. Like, it doesn't really, like, we talk about revenge and, and, you know, the cycle of that and trying to find a real solution to this ever-eternal conflict they have, like, with Trunks and, and, and God always calls him in the future trying to kill his family. Like, you know, this whole hope and, and the spirit bomb, the spirit sword, was supposed to be a solution. And it's like, it was such a, like, there's never like real it's all just some powerful ability like that's supposed to be the solution to their problem and this this is like if I was like still like 15 13 10 and you know, I just hadn't watched many anime this would be a solution this would be cool you know we, we get stronger we just get flashier and more powerful to to answer these problems but like when you start reading and watching other anime man it, these short winded and, and small solutions to things they just don't mean much i mean revenge ain't the way so well, he's, he's probably gonna be like end up like his he's gonna get killed he's probably gonna find the dragon balls wish for strength try to kill uh try to you know at some point meet the saiyans have a beef with vegeta probably they both have this constant revenge and instead of like really meeting to it and like talking it down and I will say right now the dialogue in this arc is really good but they'll probably just have some kind of really strong battle and then one of them will like crazy and like just try to blow the other ones off and then blow the other one's head off and then realize oh I shouldn't do this at the very last second and then a little, little good you know moment of dialogue and then boom that's was not a part and then like they'll go and like kill some villain <laughs> that's gonna be like the end of it. Like, they don't want to do it, but they still kill some villain in revenge. I swear that's probably gonna be the end of this. Enjoyed a lot we've been handling in life. That's never worked for any person that's been pissed off. I think he already knows this is fucking like, futile. Every day's great at your gymnast. <laughs> 
Oh, come on, man. <laughs> this is time as it fucking gets. Goodness gracious. Taka Repto, Tonto Rumbo, Puparita, Paro. I wish somebody else comes in like steals his wish. They have like a different dragon for each planet. And here, this this parallels the ending to the previous chapter in which the Oracle Fish predicted that uh, the strongest warrior in the universe would come out. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I you know, we'll see how it goes. I won't say that everything is pre being easily predicted to this point because who knows how this might spin, but... um. Uh, you know, it it's moving in a very linear fashion so far. We'll see when they, I mean, it's only the first two, three chapters of the uh, arc, so I can't expect them to fucking give me a tech on time level writing this early, but, um, yeah, we'll see how things go. I, I think that was an okay chapter. Uh, I think it was amazing. I think it was fantastic. I thought it was okay. You know, I thought it was decent. Uh, the highlights would probably be the, um... Vegeta to, to Beerus dialogue. That was pretty cool. Uh, just a dialogue in general between some of these characters, like the old man and, and him, even though it's reminiscent of other moments uh, that are kind of similar. Uh, I like that. The art in some of these panels and the drawing was pretty cool. I like this. Uh, I like this. I mean, sometimes when you have to have more decorated panels, I think Toyotaro did his job. Some of the lowlights, I mean, I think everything is... There's no twist to this point. I mean, it's pretty much gone how you would expect. Um, another guy has good that it, it sets up Vegeta as, you know, I think everybody was thinking like from the jump, like Vegeta should be the god of destruction, not Goku. Always his most operand dies to save things. Um, always made sense that Vegeta would be the god of destruction. Another thing is that it just, man, this is definitely a con. This is another time Vegeta getting his ass kicked uh, to progress the, the story, which. Lord knows you don't want any more of that. Um, so yeah, that that was cool. You know, what can you say? You know, at the end of the day, man, what really can you say? Like, was that was that great? Probably not. I liked the previous chapter a lot more. Um, but yeah, so I have to go back like this, and then I am out because fuck OBS and their damn hotkeys. I try to talk about I try to stop with the damn hotkey again. What the fuck is wrong with me? There's no hot